Hello everyone, today we're doing something special. If I do my uploading schedule correct, then this will be the 10 year anniversary of a Minecraft map that I featured on this channel 10 years ago. Uh, so, this was, this is footage from about 2021. Uh, I couldn't replicate it or record new footage because of some issues that I'll discuss later, but this map was inspired by Blackwater and Red Dead 1. Back in the day, I did a lot of Red Dead videos and Minecraft videos that you might remember. Um, so this map is supposed to be like an early 19th century town in the Midwest. So uh, yeah, we'll discuss my uh, sources of inspiration. Uh, so fun fact, uh, I don't really have a script for this video, uh, so it might be a little bit more barbaric in terms of editing, but uh, what I'm doing here in this footage right now is showing you that I'm using the older version of Minecraft. My Xbox Live account got hacked back in 2016, so my 360 is permanently a time capsule for that year because I was never able to get my account back. I didn't feel like getting a new... Uh, account or anything, so I just made the switch to PlayStation. But yeah, um, so years later I came back to this map because at that time Red Dead 2 had come out, and you know, Saint Denis was in that game, and it inspired me to come back and expand more on this game or on this map. So right now you have the outskirts of town, which is uh, what I started with first, and it looks a little bit more dilapidated compared to the rest of town. Uh, we have the chapel, we have the road with the gravel, you know, breaking it up, or the uh, grass breaking up the gravel, yada yada. So, uh, yeah, I'll list a few other examples of, you know, my inspiration for this map, like, throughout the video. Um... Some of them are historic towns like Savannah, Georgia, uh, Charleston, South Carolina, New Orleans. I'll, I'll use a lot of southern towns because that's what I'm most used to, uh, especially like around the area areas I grew up. But yeah, so the and I wish I would use more examples. I use a lot of <laughs> southern examples, but I mean South Carolina, the Carolinas are very historic. Uh, the colonies, the 13 colonies, uh, I went to Boston uh, a few months ago, and that's pretty historic. So, uh, we have some uh, gravestones or grave markers and stuff, um, w which it is kind of like, um, actually, I can't remember if the chapel, I need to go back and look at the original video. I, I can't remember if that was uh, in the, I'm pretty sure it was, because it is kind of, uh, weird how I would have, uh, uh, I made those signs in the graveyard 10 years ago, all the way back in high school. So over here we have the sawmill and I do apologize for the video quality. Uh, as I said, this was recorded on my Dazzle DVC. Uh, I would have captured more footage and would have started from scratch because there's some things I didn't really, uh, exhibit good in this video. But, yeah, uh, the, my laptop and my Dazzle don't really agree now. Uh, I got a new laptop ever since I filmed this. So, um, so yeah, we are stuck with this footage. Um, so, this is the sawmill. Uh, I wish I would have made this bigger. But, again, this is like one of the first few things I worked on in town. So... Uh, I went again and uh, should have mentioned the the biggest uh, inspiration for this was obviously as I alluded to uh, Red Dead Redemption One because that had something like I, I was always fascinated by this old meets new and I think Red Dead One exemplified that like this old uh, technology or sorry new technology meets these old settlements and everything like the West dying out so. You kind of have that here. Uh, again, uh, we go down to the main road in the town. This is supposed to be an abandoned building, like an abandoned jailhouse, because like every town, I feel like 
has abandoned an abandoned building, uh, or like just like a shack where like you know, whatever. So, um, over here we have a up oh, up oh, if if I want to actually face the building in this footage, the post office. I don't know what I'm looking at in this footage. Um, but yeah, the post office. So you go in here, you check your mail, you talk to the clerk. Uh, then you walk outside and yeah, I added a lot of like patio or like a porch. So, you know, that's like the staple of like any Western or Southern, uh, store. You have this like, you know, front area where you can socialize and like, you know, uh, look up, look on the street. Um, and then these are inspired by like the, the slummy parts of town, uh, where like maybe some of the workers at the nearby ranch work. Uh, then you have like a path leading to the uh, back of the chapel. Granted, I wish I would have made this area bigger and like I would have had it feed like a path leading to the uh, graveyard entrance. Um, but. Uh, here we have like kind of like an antebellum style house. Uh, granted, it's not the best looking one, but uh, here in the south, you know, you have a lot of antebellum uh, style houses, like prior, like 1830s, 1840s. Uh, some of them are like plantation houses that have been made to museums, uh, you know, or like, you know, tourist locations. But um, you also have towns that just don't have anything like you might come across a town that just has like a gas station or something. And after keep in mind, after you drive for like 20 minutes and see nothing but fields, and then you have big cities like a Greenville or like a Charleston, uh, intermixed in that. And I was going for more of like a big town, uh, than a big city per se. Like, you know, um, I wasn't really going for this metropolitan area. Like, like a Boston or like a New York or something like God, no. Um, but yeah, more of like a big city. Um, oh God, big city, more like a big town, you know? Um, but yeah, so over here's the, Oh, if I decide where over here's like the ranch, which is, I think was the first thing I ever built. Like the first thing ever. Um, so, we have a few entrances to uh, an entrance to the ranch. We have like the stables. We have this uh, outhouse, which is poorly made. Uh, and I apologize for the very amateurish uh, building style. I think over here, what we're about to see is the chicken coop. And there's a pig in here for some reason. Then we have the pig pen or the pig sty. We have a few crops. Uh, we have like an irrigation thing. Uh, then the barn. Uh, we have a few bunk houses. Uh, there's one on the far side I don't go into. Uh, and here we have like a cattle pen. And I believe that is it for the slummy area. But over here we have. Uh, you know, just more shops and amenities. I mentioned the barber shop. Uh, I mentioned uh, the general store. And on screen, you have a few more examples of you know um, towns that I was inspired by. You know, livestock towns and cotton towns, and also like Valentine is kind of like the telltale, uh, or just like the traditional cattle town that you see. Especially in Red Dead, like that's like the its whole gimmick. It's a livestock town, but uh, definitely uh, I had inspirations from real life examples. I don't want to keep name dropping Red Dead, but uh, even Valentine or Armadillo and everything like that, they're inspired by like Cheyenne and Wyoming, and uh, th there's you know just a lot. Just Red Dead One was. Uh, I don't know. I feel like some of the scenery in that game beats a second. Um, especially in the New Austin area. I, I feel like in Red Dead 2, New Austin was just kind of tacked on. Uh, but I, I'm, you know, I'm changing the topic right now. But 
So, uh, yeah. Um. So this is kind of like the outskirt area. Uh. You know, going back in. I don't know why in this footage I go back. Um, I guess I thought I forgot to go in. Which is funny because I forget to go in that bunkhouse. Um, so, what you see, um, there's also a little newspaper stand behind the uh, barbershop that I walked up to. But, a uh, gun, little gun store or gunsmith. Then you go to this like big... Uh, kind of like more modern, like nicer, more organized part of town with this big entrance, you know, uh, like a welcome to uh, uh, Royston, Colorado, or whatever. I think I picked that name. I don't know. I don't think that's a real name. I just picked the name out of a hat for, um, you know, this fictional town. But here we have a bookstore. We have a uh, newspaper office, you know, little editor's office up top. Then, uh, do, 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 I think we have like a, like real estate office or something, but a guy going crazy. Uh, so here we have like a little alleyway and I have these posters around or like these pictures or paintings, uh, around the, uh, the storefront, uh, to kind of like, they could be movie posters or like bounty posters, like Red Dead, um, just or advertising for the story about to walk in or if it's like 1917 it could be like a draft and post poster for like world war one but uh, i just tried to make it more lively uh and then we have a another yeah see like an advertisement there uh we have like a carpenter's office like a contractor then i think you have like a furniture store um buy some furniture, you know, whatever. So then on the other side, I have a very elementary design of a truck and also another newsstand. And those are supposed to be trash cans right there, that little bin. But yeah, the, the truck was inspired by like, you know, like old automobiles, like the Model T or Model TT. And yeah, this I, I didn't finalize a year for this. I, I think... Let's say like 1919 or like 1920s maybe because I have some stuff that arguably didn't come around or was commonplace until the 1920s. But anyway, so here's like an apartment that um, I worked on and these older buildings will have more detail in them. Uh, some of the newer buildings that I did like the saloon and stuff doesn't really, they don't really have anything in them. So here's like a restaurant, you know, you go in. Uh, get some coffee, get some food, and do, 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 do. So then you have a hotel. You have some hitching stations around the map, and that a trash can. Go in here. You uh, reserve a room for the night, or you check out. Uh, there's some hotel rooms. Blah blah. blah. So yeah, the uh, this was like one of the uh, first few. Uh, oh, there was like a party going on there. And again, you can go back. I can't remember. I I know what parts are new, but as far as like the old buildings that were in that first video, I don't know what I went back to and actually edited. Um, but here we're overlooking the town. Uh, you know, we have the cobblestone roads in town. Because, again, if you go to, like, something like Boston or, like, a historic town, there, there's, there's always, like, a historic portion of town. And you have the newer portion. Uh, like, again, like Savannah, Charleston, New Orleans. Um, as I already mentioned, Boston. And, yeah, it's mainly, like, towns prior to, like, I think 1880, maybe. Because then... Um, you know, you have the new road, like the asphalt coming in, like this uh, newer black roads coming in with this kind of clashing with the old. And again, I'm trying to capture that old versus new, like that Red Dead 1 aesthetic. And uh, you see over there, I'll go back to it later, but you have this like plaza that was definitely inspired by Blackwater. 
that had like the gazebo and everything. Um, but here we have that newer part of town I was mentioning. This gas station with the asphalt and the uh, the gravel bleeding onto it and vice versa. So, uh, and then this bridge is atrocious. Like, if there's one thing I could burn down, it was this bridge. It is way too steep. And, it, yeah, I, it's ugly, too. I just want to burn it down. Um, so, I, I hate that bridge. But anyway, so we have the uh, gas station. Uh, you know, you have a bench on the side if you want to, like, just smoke and joke. Uh, we have another truck fueling up. Uh, we have a garage, you know, like a little uh, shed. So, yeah. Um, some of this I'm not proud of, but, you know, it's... I was in high school when I made most of this. Um, and then next to it... Next to the gas station, we have a school or schoolhouse, and I, I tried to like implement. I didn't want everything to look sa the same. I tried to like add new uh, building blocks, like uh, what is that, like nether brick or something? I forgot what it's called, but anyway. So you have a classroom on the left, some lockers. You know, a uh, teacher comes up, gives you a history lesson about something. Uh, we have a. I think it's supposed to be an office or something. I don't know what that is. But anyway, so leaving the school. Then you go down to the... Oh, yeah, you have the street lamps and everything and the crosswalks. So I wish I would have made the street or the sidewalks more populated. You have a grocery store down there uh, that I think I'm about to walk into. Yep. Uh, just some grocery, you know, uh, cookies, bread... Sugar, wheat, and everything. So, uh, yeah, a few more examples that I'm listening on screen. And I'm sorry for this commentary, by the way. This is just me overlooking footage from years ago. So, uh, over here, I think this is like a jewelry store. Uh, I don't... Do I, do I walk in it? Yeah, I do. So, you know, you, you can get yourself a necklace or something. So... Over here, we finally have... This is supposed to be a stagecoach, uh, just like in Red Dead and Red Dead 2. So, uh, there's also a plane going over my house right now, which is very good and adds to the aesthetic. Um, so, the train station right here, uh, you know, you have another pair of, like, tracks that go through town. Uh, and you wait here. There's also another area out here. Uh, there's a stagecoach, and I think it's in the original video, but I deleted it because it just looked abysmal. Uh, that is like one of the things I know for a fact I made a change to. Uh, so, then, you know, I have this like avenue of trees and everything. So, pretty soon we're getting to the plaza, which is, uh, as I said, inspired by Blackwater. Because uh, you have the gazebo, and you have the three branches of government, like the, the town hall, the courthouse, and the police station. So you have like all three, uh, you know, branches of government. The uh, gazebo, I will say this is probably the, uh, I also made edits to this too when I went back. Uh, gazebo looks pretty nice. Courthouse looks kind of cramped, but I mean, you know, you have the bench, uh, jury box, you know, tables where the council sits and everything, so... Uh, yeah, just a standard courthouse. Uh, the town hall is vacant. It's a shell. But, uh, you can see I have a attempt at a Colorado flag and obviously the American flag over it. Uh, I know the Colorado flag is missing the C and everything. It's not a one-to-one, -one, but, eh. Uh, so over here we have the jail or the police station. Uh, only two cells, so uh, if there's three criminals in this town, we're going to be out of luck. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, okay, so over here we have a clinic or a doctor's office. And again, I should say this is where we get into the new stuff. Um, so yeah, doctor's office over here. You know, some beds for the patients and everything. Then we have like a duplex, or we have like a little area, porch right there, uh, and like an alleyway. 
or kind of just like, you know, like a back area. You can watch the train go by. Uh, doctor can take a smoke break. And next to it is like this duplex. And just like, you know, we have a little mail area in here. Uh, you can go upstairs, blah, 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 like your little patio area for people to live. And this next area was definitely inspired by Saint Denis because you have the stable, uh, the factory, the market, a hotel. And again, you have this asphalt road coming in, you know, it's like bleeding into the old part of town, like this new, uh, old versus new. So, um, again, stables though, like I want to say stables are still used, uh, like in towns, like, I mean, their stables still being used like in the 1930s. Uh, obviously, honestly, most of them now in big towns are like more, uh, tourist attractions. But anyway, this one has like a little overlook, like a manager's office, you know, uh, but a little bookshelf with some customer records and stuff. So, uh, yeah, then over here we have the factory, which, uh, is not complete. And this is, you know, definitely inspired by Saint Denis. Uh, and then there's a road. I think it's like more like a walkway than a road, this brick area. Yeah. So I think this is supposed to be more of a walkway than the road. Uh, the markets over here. And then you have like a park area, like a park right here. So this part's supposed to be more accessible by foot. And, uh, yeah, you see, I'm trying to like experiment with building blocks and stuff. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> sorry, I'm getting choked up. I've been talking for 20 minutes straight. So this part, yeah, I just have a few kiosks, a few stalls and everything. Trying to make this market look, uh, a little bit alive, uh, some variety. There's like a fishmonger uh, stall, I think. Yeah, right there. Then some carpet, some rugs. And what I wish I would have done, I, I wish I would have extended that hotel, have the balcony overlook, like have a balcony on that wall overlook the market. Just to make it, because I think in San Denis, there's like apartments and stuff and there's balconies overlooking the market. Uh, but as I said, yeah, this hotel is empty on the inside uh one of the newer additions and then finally we have the saloon um and uh it's empty on the inside as we come to see but there's like a poker table uh, there's a horse in the bar for some reason uh but this was definitely inspired by classic saloons in the west so but yeah um that is essentially the map and I'll zoom out. I wish the render distance was better. But that is essentially the map. That is essentially the town of the fictional Royston, Colorado. Uh, next to Willamette, Colorado, I guess. But anyway, so this is just like a trip down memory lane. Because, um, you know, I just something to go back on and reflect uh, and I am getting kind of nostalgic for it. And it kind of makes me want to go back to the map, in fact. But, yeah. So, um, if you guys enjoyed, uh, let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, you know, feel free to, like, roast me in the comments. Because I am not that creative when it comes to building games. Uh, so, yeah. We're just doing a stroll down memory lane. And also, whatever lane this is. So, yeah. Um... But let me know what you guys think. Uh, sorry for the barbaric style uh, commentary and footage. But um, yeah, so see you guys next time. Uh, you know, let me know if uh, you want to see any more Minecraft stuff from me. Pi won't, just to go ahead and spoil you, uh, spoil that ending. Pi, no more Minecraft stuff from me. Uh, but yeah, uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.